Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Finally, Cursor have released their web and mobile version and this is their official post in Twitter that Cursor is now on your phone and on the web, spin up dozens of agents and review them later in your editor. So this is the UI here you see if you log in to this cursor.com then you will see this kind of interface one is agent another tab is dashboard so if you go to that dashboard there you will find all of the details like your usage and all other details now if you go to this agent there you will find this kind of interface that uh, uh, it, it will ask you to connect with your github account so here you see connect github so if you connect with your github then you will find this kind of interface and here on the left hand side you will find this drop down and all of your repositories you will find here and uh, the branch name also you will find here and here you can select any models like cloud 4 sonnet o3 and cloud 4 opus currently these three models are there because these are the powerful model and recommended model and also you can upload any images and if you want to do any changes then select the repository and after that you can ask it like uh, you can ask it uh, to add some dark or light mode feature or any other bug fixes if you want to do you can do that okay and this is exactly similar to the google jules or this open ai codex we have already made a video on these two topic open ai codex and google jules how they actually works so if you want to watch that video you can go our channel code digit and just search here the jules and you will find that google jules video and also that open ai codex so there i have already uh, have shown you that uh, here also you need to connect with your github account and you have to choose your github repository and also that uh, branch where you are currently working so after that if you want to do any changes you can do that and it will do all of that things and uh, also the same thing in case of open ai codex exactly similar thing and also these three things this cursor agent and this google jules and openai codex all of them works in a similar way that they make a different sandbox where the things gets done and all the when all the that things are done you will get the notification and you can check it later okay suppose i want to add this add a dark, uh, dark or light mode feature in my this repository this is one of my repository where i have uh, made one uh, chat interface with the help of man stack and now now i want to add the dark or light mode feature now after that press enter and i have selected this o3 model and press enter and here you see that new background agent it is running you will see this kind of uh, this this uh, icon is running okay and when your work will be completed you will see this kind of right mark uh, sign okay so so in this way it will work and uh, if you want to use it in your mobile phone then in that case what i have to do uh, let me show you that so if i go back and here one user posted it here you see if you open it on your browser in mobile cursor.com there you will find add to home screen option here you see uh, you will find this kind of uh, sign in case iphone and if you are using any android phone they are on the right hand side three dot you have to click and there you will find one download button okay or you will find that add to home screen option below so do that after that you will find your app uh, in this way let me show you here you see in this way you will you find your app like the other app present in your mobile and there also you can do the same things uh, here you see the same interface you have to just connect with your github and after that switch between the models and the task that you want to do you can do all of that things and the interesting thing is that let me show you uh, they have also with the same shown task. us here you see the mobile version yes here you see you can create the pull request and you can merge the code if you have uh, done any pull request okay or if someone have done any pull request you can review that code 
or you can ask cursor to review that code okay if if cursor find any bug then you can ask cursor that please fix that code and then merge it and it will do all of the all of that things for you okay and you can see this dips also like what are the new features got added in your um, in your repository okay so let me show you that i uh, see that currently it is doing the modification and now if i open the first one this one i'll uh, see that in this way if you open any of these things then uh, currently it is showing the no code changes because it is running and uh, all of the things you will find here like in which files they it has done the changes blah 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 okay yes here it is showing add dark light mode feature like in this front end folder inside the src component sidebar it has done these changes and use theme.js theme toggle.jsx so it has done all of these changes and if you open it you will find that what it has added and the ui is exactly similar to the google jules open ai codex and uh, you you can use it because cursor is actually a great agent so my recommendation is please try it and let me know your thought in the comment section and i hope that you got the idea that why this cursor new agent mode in web and mobile is very important and uh, you don't have to install anything in your desktop also and it is good to go to use this feature okay so if you want to get this type of videos more daily don't forget to subscribe our channel code digit because here you will find all of that interesting and latest videos what is happening in this uh, ai era and ai industry and also here you see that i have published many videos uh, regarding this gemini cli and this cog 4 release so please don't forget to watch that videos also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye